Today we're going to make a traditional soup from Portugal. It dates back to the 8th century when the Moors occupied the Iberian Peninsula for some 800 years. It's called a sorda. It's basically a peasant soup. When you didn't have much, you went for this. Basically, it makes use of stale bread, poached eggs, cilantro, garlic. If you were lucky, you got some olive oil. If you're lucky, you actually got some eggs also. This soup is thought to have its origins in the area of Portugal known as Alentejo. The Alentejo is the central part of Portugal. It's the breadbasket of Portugal. Everything from crops, oak trees, where Portugal is known for its famous oaks, livestock, grapes. The Alentejo is to Portugal what the Central Valley of California is to the United States as far as food production. A sorda, a soup to sustain you, to sustain the farm workers in that Alentejo region. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is just get the stock warming up. I'm making about a half batch of soup here. So again, you could use stock or some chicken bouillon. Old school, really old school, is just plain old water and salt. Put this on our stove. Next, I'll get some garlic ready. It has a decent amount of garlic. I would say about a clove of garlic per person or up to two cloves of garlic per person. I'm gonna crush all these ingredients together pulverize them in like a mortar and pestle. Now I'll cut up my peri peri peppers a little bit. So I do have links to all the products I use on my videos, like the PD PD peppers or this little electric stove I use. A lot of different products, you can find them. They link to Amazon, I get a little commission on. If you'd like to support the channel, appreciate it. And this half recipe is for four people, so that's probably like almost a cup of cilantro. Now you're gonna put your herbs in a bowl to macerate them basically. You could use, you know, if you have a muddler, you could do this or the back of a wooden spoon. Another thing you could do is just chop it super fine with a knife. But we're really just trying to extract a lot of flavor and trying to break up some of the cells of the cilantro. Tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil in there. If you didn't have a muddler, you just want to get the back of like a wooden spoon if you're using this technique. Just really try to macerate it, break up those cells. Okay, our stock is warmed up. Now we just want to throw in our cilantro, garlic, and peri peri peppers. I want to get all the flavorings out of this bowl. If you're interested in other soups, I also have a caldo verde soup on my site and a tomato onion soup with poached eggs. You want to taste it to be sure there's enough salt and pepper to your liking. Wow, that's good. I guess because of cilantro, it almost reminds me a little bit of an Asian, like pho, the way it tastes. Just a couple of those peaty peaty peppers, you really feel the heat. And now I'm going to put in about another two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. This soup is virtually done. You know, we have some stale bread that you'll put in your soup bowls poached egg over it. As far as the poached eggs, again, there's two ways you could go about this. I grew up with my uncle, Tiu Lunginguj, always just, you know, breaks the eggs right into the assorta and you just scoop them out of there. So you could do that. Or if I was like working in a restaurant with this kind of soup, I would keep my soup like this, pour it into a bowl and probably poach my eggs to order. But you know, when you're serving it for family and everybody's gonna eat at the same time, it's perfectly okay to put them in here. Typically, poached eggs only take like three to seven minutes, depending on how firm you want the poached egg to be. So you could plop those right in there. I also have a, a video that's less than two minutes if you wanna see how to make perfect poached eggs to put on top of this or any other dish like Eggs Benedict. Okay, so all our ingredients are ready. Now just grab your concha or serving ladle. That smells so good. I mean, such a simple soup and those flavors are just fabulous. And then just for decorations, you know, if I was serving this at a restaurant, I would do something like this. Put some croutons. This is some homemade bread. This is actually a sourdough bread I made. It's perfect bread because it definitely was getting stale. And then we put our poached eggs there. Get a little more color. A little bit of this over. Oh, it looks so good. Mm -mm -mm. Can't wait to dig into this. A little cilantro garnish on the plate. And that is it. Now you can make a sorda with your family. Simple, but give it a try, man. This 
the aroma coming out of the soup is just fantastic. Check out some more of my soups on my webpage, justcookwithmichael.com. Thanks for joining me. Now go cook for somebody you love.